Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom fan page. What we're going to do here is we're going to go up to our pages. And I like to type it in because we all know how Facebook changes things every once in a while. So we're going to go to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash manage. Now if you don't already have a custom fan page, you want to click on Create Page. You're going to choose the category for your new Facebook page, and we're just going to leave this as other business, but you can scan through and choose the business that mo most describes your business. We're going to name this page Testing 3. And I'm also going to click the box for do not make this page publicly visible at this time so that I can work on the page before I actually publish it. Then click create page. Okay, now we're in the admin area of the page that we just created, testing three. And what I'm going to want to do here is edit the page. But before I do that, in order to do custom pages, we're going to have to add something called static FBML. So I'm going to come up to the top again here and go to facebook.com forward slash apps, A-P-P-S. I'm going to perform a search for static FBML. And it pops up right there, static FBML by Facebook. I'm going to click on that and come over here where it says add to my page. Now, of course, you also want to become a fan of Static FBML, but I'm already a fan, so my button doesn't show. But let's scroll down and find the page we want to add it to. And I'm going to want to add it to my Testing 3, the page I just created, and click on Add to Page. Then I'll go ahead and close this box and go back to Facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash manage and again I'm doing this only because the buttons move around on Facebook when they make changes so the easiest way to get to these things is just to type it in the URL so now here we are on testing three and now I want to edit my page And we'll scroll down, and here it says FBML, and click Edit. Now the box title can be changed to anything you want. We're going to change this to My Custom Page. Now you want to enter the FBML from your favorite, favorite HTML editor. I use Macromedia Dreamweaver 8. And after you have taken the time to create your page, what you'll do is you'll come over here and highlight all of the HTML, which includes your FBML, right click, and copy. Now a couple of pointers here is you want to make sure that there's no meta, body, or head tags throughout here. So once you've successfully copied that, we're going to come back over. to the FBML box on Facebook. We're going to right click and paste all of that code and come down and save changes. It says that changes have been saved so I'm going to come up and click on testing three. Now you'll see that my custom page isn't in the tabs here, so we'll want to come over here and click on the plus sign, 
and search available tabs. Now it does say my custom page right here, but you might have several pages. It may not show up right here, but we'll just search for FBML and it's going to say static FBML. And you'll notice my custom page is now in the top of my tabs here. And what I can do with this is take my custom page and move it all the way over right next to info. So now I have my wall, info, and my custom page. All the information that you created in your HTML editor is going to show up here. And you can preview how it's actually going to look to others before you publish your page. Now what I want to do is make sure my video works, so I'll click on it twice. And just make I'm sure that it does play. Then I'll come down here and make sure that my virtual tours work by clicking on them. And again, this does happen a little faster. It's just that I'm recording at the same time that a lot of things are happening on my computer, so it's a little slower than normal. But I'm just going through and making sure that all my virtual tours work, all of my videos work, my links work, and everything else on my page. If something were not to work, I would take all the code, go back to my HTML editor, and then fix what I need to fix and then bring it back over to where I showed you before. And we'll just go back real quick so I can show you one more time. You click on the little question mark or your picture, edit page, and you scroll down to where it says my custom page, edit, and this is where you can go back and paste the new code. So once you have your page 100% done the way that you like it, you go back to testing three. And you'll see at the top here it says this page has not been published. To make it public, publish this page. Once you publish the page, the page will be available for the entire public to see. Have a great day.